Hi guys and Merry Christmas from Satscasts. In this Christmas freebie we're going to cover how to play Bobby Helms version of Jingle Bell Rock. Um, I'm pulling a little intro as well so if you download the sheet music from Satscasts you'll see a little intro in there that we're going to have a go at doing too which kind of fits along with the guitar nicely. Um, it's pretty easy actually, it goes along with everything that I've been covering in the fundamentals course over at satscast.com. If you haven't tried it yet, what I'm going to do now is give a Christmas freebie um, voucher code offer. If you enter Christmas1 into the website, then what you'll get is a 7 day free trial to Satscast, so check it out to channel all the lessons and just have a general um, poke around at it. And also you'll get your first month for a pound, so you get a whole week plus a first month for just one pound, which is 90% off the usual price. All right, and on we go with the tutorial then. So the first bit then, probably the most one of the most awkward bits in the whole song really. So if you nail this intro, then you can pretty much guarantee you can play the whole of it then. So let's take this beginning. So it does this. What we're going to think about is this swarm quaver idea. Ta 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 ta. So every pair of quavers that you see, or if you're reading it, then if you see it, if you're hearing it, then listen for are these swarm quavers. Ta 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 ta. Let's have a go. Ready? Three, four. So you hear that long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot idea. So what is that then? I'm going to just put all the music here so you can follow it along with me, but we've got C, 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 B, 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 C, E with the octave key, G, A, B flat, A, G, E, G. Right, make sure you definitely do bis B flat there. You don't really want to do any other B flat, just because it's so much easier to use that bis B flat there. And then at the end, make sure you hold that G on for four beats. <laughs> So you've got to go one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. And that's your little intro. Move on to the um, second little section here. This is the actual tune. So that's C, 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 B, B, B. Make sure you hold that on for long enough and also put a little bit of vibrato onto it as well. A, B, A, E. What you're going to check out there is that you're definitely opening up your throat a little so that you're not getting an overtone on that low note. It's quite low, remember opening the throat, if you're too tight then you're going to end up with an overtone. 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 You don't want that to happen, so make sure that you're definitely opening up your throat and hearing that interval. Da, 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 da. Next part. That's A, B, A, E, G. Again, that leap down to the E. A, B, A, F with a bit of vibrato on the end. Now we've got some syncopation. Syncopation I've just covered in one of the um, last lessons on the of the fundamentals course. Um, it's called Syncopation 2. I'd definitely check that out if you're struggling with anything to do with um, syncopation. It's quite a useful lesson. So the last bar here. So really useful to find a pulse there. So where do the beats land? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and ta 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 ta. Let's have a practice of that last bar with me because the syncopation is a little bit weird there. Again, two, three, four. And then onto the next little bit, the last phrase, the last bar of that phrase. D E F G. On to the next bit, bar 11. So we've got A, G sharp, one, two, three, little finger. A, G sharp, A, G sharp, A. So it's rest. Two and three and four. One. A, G sharp, A, G sharp, A. So that's A, normal A, dropping down to low E flat. A, E flat, E flat. Awkward little movement there, E flat, all six, little finger on the top key, the top key at the bottom. So low, the bottom one is low C, E flat is the top key there, so low E flat. Okay, moving on to the second part of the verse. Which is just a repeat, C, 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 B, 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 A, B, A, E. 
Make your sign again. A, B, A, E, G, A, B, A, F. That little syncopated um, bit again. That's D, E, F, G, A, G. D, E, F, G. And one. A, A, B, G, C. So careful that one, you've got rest, and two, and three, four, and... Holding that note on a little while. Okay, so then we're going into kind of the little bridge. So that is C, 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 D with the octave key, C, A, C, C, D with the octave key, C. C, C, B, A, G, E, two, three. So the next part, C, 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 D, C. So the first part is C, 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 D, C, A, C, C, D, C. Then we've got rest, da 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 da. So let's get the swung quavers going on at this bit. Um, ba 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 ba. One. Now what you'll find is the end of this little this little phrase ends with the backing track. You'll hear it. You'll hear the bass kick in on the backing track. Do 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 do. So make sure that you're definitely joining in with that bass and definitely in time there. So that's one. G G G A A A A B B A G F natural. And then back to the verse again. C C C B B B A B A E. Slight change there. A B A E G A two three four. So that's A, C, D, D, C, C, G sharp, one, two, three, little finger, G sharp, G sharp, C, D. Next line. That's one, C, A, B, A, G, C. Right, then in the me if you notice on the PDF here, if you're following it um, through the uh, material downloaded from the site, you'll notice that there's a first time bar. Now what do we do? You've got to know this if you've done things like Feeling Good and some other tracks on there, you'll notice I've been using these first time and second time bars quite a lot. So the actual song now repeats the whole way through, pretty much the whole way through, back from that third line and the Jingle Bell Rock. So it does that bit again and does pretty much the whole song. So what you're going to do is go back to the repeat marks, which is written on the PDF, play it all through again, but instead of taking the first time bar the second time through, you jump to the second time and tag on this ending, which goes like this. One. That's the jingle bell, which is rest, uh, sorry, rest C, A, B, A, G. Rest C, A, B, A, G. And then again, rest C. That's rest C, A, B, C, D. Then D, C. And holding that on and putting some vibrato on and fading away as well. All right, guys, so that's it. That's a really quick, nice and easy version of Jingle Bell Rock to play along with. Hopefully, you've got enough time to play it and practice it and get it ready for Christmas this year. I wish you all the very best um, Christmas that you can possibly have. And I also wish you all a great new year. And I'll see you next year. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And also thank you for subscribing to Satscast and making all this possible for me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. And I shall catch you next time with another Satscast tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.